I want to show you is how I would take uh, Bootstrap as a grid system and then I'm going to use this landing page design. I just googled landing pages. I found this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Bootstrap to sort of try to mock this up in HTML using the Bootstrap design. And the way I'm going to do this is a couple ways. I'm going to just tackle it row by row. So if you look here, I'm going to do the top row and create a grid. In this case, you're going to see three different columns. And then on the next row, you're going to see two columns. The row after that, I'm going to do it into three columns. And I'm just going to take it one row at a time each time. Now, if I have a background color that's the same, and yet I see several different ones going here, um, like if, if we were to do this as the row system, you would see four evenly spaced one. This would be filling out one. So this is kind of like a set of nested um, set. So what I might do is anywhere where it's all the same background color or image, I would have that be one row. And then I might put in different grids within that one. So when we get there, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, if you'll see here on my HTML, uh, first of all, I created a folder. I called it Bootstrap Landing Page Sample. If you look at my folder, uh, whoa, that's not it. Hold on a second. If you look at my folder, there it is, Bootstrap Landing Page Sample. Open it up. Now, a couple things I did to prepare. I went to Photoshop, and I want you to see what I did with Photoshop. So I got a copy of the page. And so I just want to walk you through. I've already pr prepared some graphics. Uh, first of all, if you fit the screen on here, that's the full graphic of the image that we have. Now, my job is just to show you how you can quickly code out a uh, bootstrap website. And so part of this is just a demonstration. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I've grabbed this graphic uh, from the, the site where I found the page. You will see that the background graphic here, uh, at the top you've got this kind of a solid color, and then you've got a, a texture here like a border, and then you've got this texture going down. Now this color up here is a flat color, I believe. If we get close enough, you would see that. So one of the things that you could do is you could grab the copy of that color right there. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and then here's our hexadecimal code for that color. That could be the background of the entire uh, page. And then we can create these graphics here uh, for each of our divs as we go. Um, I think what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, if you're going to use graphics, background graphics at all, and mostly this is if you have graphics with textures, um, you're going to want to use background images. And so you'll see there, this has a texture if you look at it closely. So one of the things I want you to look for in this video is I'm going to go in and take just little tiny snippets of each of the graphics with those textures that we need. So you're going to see me going in. All you need is a little tiny graphic because you can always tile it in different ways. So be on the lookout for that as you do it. Another thing you're going to note is that I've also taken several little pictures out of that master graphic that we're going to insert for our content so you can see me placing it just so that you can see what that page is going to look like. So wherever you see a graphic, you're going to see me uh, either inserting or even cutting them and inserting them. What we're going to do now is you're going to see me go in and code this. Now I've speeded up this clip and so you're going to see basically an hour's worth of coding in the span of about eight minutes or so. With a little soundtrack, I hope you enjoy it. If popular culture has taught us anything, it is that someday mankind must face and destroy the growing robot menace. The robots have descended on us from outer space, escaped from top secret laboratories, and even traveled back in time to destroy us.
any machine could rebel. It is crucial to learn the common strengths and weaknesses of every robot animal. Pity the fate of the ignorant when the robot masses decide to stop working and to start invading.